Today on X Play Memories of Table Tennis. That's right. Cleopatra gets sassy. And guilty pleasures. Plea bargain down to securities fraud. It's game time. Sessler, Morgan Webb. Prepare to be reviewed. Prepare to be reviewed. This is X Play. They're drunker than they look. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Hello and welcome to X Play. So we've been getting a lot of letters recently, mostly criticizing my shirts. Yeah. Well, but a number of them have been pointing out inconsistencies in the X Play mythos. See, what you fail to realize is that X Play is a multiverse. When you watch an episode, you never know which parallel universe is coming from. But to clean up the storylines, we've decided to have a crisis of infinite X Play. It'll reveal that Adam is his own father and will kill me off in favor of a red-headed Morgan from Paradise Island who loves Dragon Ball Z. But first, game reviews. Mm. Well, not just video games, but the next-gen super realistic table tennis game you've been praying for since Kong. It has realistic butt crack sweat. This is technology run amok, but still pretty cool. We take a look at The Legend of Heroes 2, a fantasy RPG with cutting edge graphics from 1994. And later on in the show, we review Rise and Fall Civilizations at War, which gives you a chance to play as all the historical characters you've ever dreamed of being. Except for Emmeline Pankhurst. There are no opportunities in this game to play Surly Suffragette. We'll probably come out with an expansion pack for that. Mm. But first, we turn to the ancient art of table tennis. This sport's wild popularity in East Asia made it the foundation of the ping pong diplomacy, which opened up US relations with China. And if it weren't for China, where would we find slave labor to assemble our iPods? Mm -hmm. Here's table tennis. Welcome to Planet Pong. Rockstar's table tennis for the 360 has so much going on deep within the code that this vision may just fool you. There's got to be more beyond the door of the house that GTA built. <laughs> Pro Pong is really a test of mental acuity and endurance. It's all about the ball, and these players will show and control like they're obsessed with it. Since you're the boss of at least one of the players, you too will be drawn into the magnificent obsession. As far as the controller is concerned, the configuration is simple enough for a masher while also supplying some depth to the more experienced player. An animated orbit alerts you to the directional spin on the ball, allowing you to smash accordingly. Holding certain buttons down delivers more wicked flavor to the shot you're taking. Get it together! The characters, though seemingly laundered of any sense of humanity, are impressive. There's that hint of skin texture, the leg hair, the lines generated from drinking antifreeze. The tour can be hectic. We were disappointed by the lack of a create-your-own character, but the individual complexity of each person, even for next-gen, would have made that a difficult task. The character's facial expression and sweat factor changes as the match heats up, which contributes nicely to game immersion. You almost relate to their particular personalities. Yeah, that's right. You can almost see Ping Pong succeeding at being an extreme sport. What with televised poker doing so well, why not show some extreme Pong? Let's get ready to paddle! Oh! Welcome to Extreme Pong. I'm your host, none of your business. And in this corner, Morgan the Wookie Web. And in this corner, Boobastis. Pong! The players are showcasing ancient techniques. The Odiverous Chamber. The Queasy Panther. So much pain, so much sweaty. I fear the end is upon us. Web delivers! Winner by mortality, Morgan the Wookiee. Web! Damn, I'm good. Table tennis will definitely supply some great moments. 
especially on Xbox Live, where a spectator mode will allow you to watch some dueling deities whack the wee plastic planet. The characters are pugnacious and competitive, but we would have liked to see a few more options in terms of design and outfits. We did enjoy the control scheme, and the Xbox Live support is truly entertaining. A four, sweet, out of five. Now, it's a little surprising Rockstar decided to go from the tourist incineration to Grand Theft Auto to something as mundane as ping pong. Perhaps they're worried that all the politicians attacking video games will result in stiffer penalties for manufacturers of violent games. Or, you know, or they took mushrooms and a talking armadillo told them to do it. Ah, we had X-Play do not approve of talking armadillos or drugs. But we do love white-collar crime. That's why when we found out Jeff Skilling and Ken Lamb are going to jail for their part in the Enron scandal, we went to an authority to get some quality advice for them. This is for my boys Jeff Skilling and Ken Lay. When you're in the big house, you need two things. Cigarettes and these games. Show me what you got. If Skilling and Lay was coming here anyways, they should have played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas to see all the cool things they could have been arrested for. I'll take killing a hooker over manipulating earnings reports in a day. New Mario Brothers is by far the damn funnest DS game out there, and a blast to play when you need to kill some time while your bunkmate gets friendly with your backside. The classic gameplay is so much fun! Oh, your turn! Ah, keep steady! It's so beautiful to see two men in love like that, and to think some people would say they shouldn't get married. Remind me to never break the law again, okay? Mm -hmm. Up next on X-Play, Guilty Gear, and later on, Rise and Fall. It's holiday time in the city, and you'll find incredible savings on the year's coolest gifts. Right now, you'll save up to $100 instantly on select digital cameras, and up to $150 instantly on all camcorders. Plus, all CDs are on sale now. Come in and save on rock, rap, country, and more. Just $9.99 each. And remember, Circuit City gift cards make a perfect stocking stuffer. It's holiday time in the city. Does it seem to me clearly or darkly trippy? A twisted vision, the major head trip. Keanu Reeves, Robert Downey Jr., Woody Harrelson, Winona Ryder, Rory Cochran, The Scanner Darkly. Own it on DVD today. Do you have the code? The ultimate code of seduction. The Armani Code. The Dragons for Men by Giorgio Armani. A Dillard's. Admit it, the best things in life are free. Like this cool new Xbox 360. Everyone wants one, and best of all, you get yours free. That's right, free. Look, if you're over 18, just go to tvfreexbox.com. Enter your email and shipping info, click on a few amazing offers, and then follow the redemption and eligibility requirements, and your free Xbox 360 will be shipped directly to you. It's that easy. Don't believe it? All right, check out the website for details. Go to tvfreexbox.com now. The young male brain comprised of two distinct sectors. This half, the technology. This half, the pleasure center. Obsess with getting your noodle in the stronger. For two days, G4 brings you gadgets and girls. Thursday, go inside the Consumer Electronics Show and see the future of tech. Then on Friday, stimulate those pleasure centers at the Adult Entertainment Expo. G4 presents CES and AEE, January 11th and 12th. Balance your brain with G4. They got all dressed up for you. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. 
Violence has never solved anything except for World War II. Oh, also it ended slavery in America. Oh, and it paved the way for our democracy. And it made Roadhouse one hell of a movie. You know what, sometimes you'd like the thrill of some violence just without all the lawsuits and war crimes tribunals you'd get if you just punch someone in the face. Now in this situation, sprite-based fighters on handheld devices are a nice choice. Like Guilty Gear Dust Strikers for the DS. Guilty Gear Universe has now moved to the DS with... Somebody please turn that music down! What? No, I said turn it down! Turn that Damn. Music down. Thank you. Oh, come on, hold on! I'll fix this! There, that's much better. As I was saying, the Guilty Gear universe has moved to the DS with Guilty Gear Dust Strikers. Um, okay, just keep it down. Dust Strikers gives the Guilty Gear franchise a facelift, but sometimes it's better to leave well enough alone. Gone are the concentrated one-on-one -on -one battles fought on a single plane. Now each stage is tiered to make use of the DS's dual screen action, and most battles are fought with four characters at a time. But even in such a freewheeling brawl, you can find a loner. I'm kind of scared of heights. I'll just hang out down here. Aw, poor puppy. Ew. The format of the battle isn't the only thing that's been altered. The game's controls have been simplified to accommodate the limitations of the DS. The four attack buttons have been pared down to two, one for quick attacks and one for power attacks. A third button allows for the game's special dust strike attack, eliminating the need for the DS's unforgiving D-pad moves. But it's the schizophrenic nature of converting this game to a handheld that keeps it from greatness. If they had stayed tried and true to the original game style, they would have made a good game. If they had made a multiplayer party game like Dust Striker so desperately wants to be, they would have made a good game. However, not sticking to one path leads to everything being average. It's like how Simon and Garfunkel would have been better without all the Garfunkel. As a protector of public safety, I can't let such hateful words pass. We added voiceover to spice up their story mode. What's all this talk about? Even the police are here. Maybe I should get at... No! Happiness! Hatred! Hatred! But it still doesn't make any sense. The game does also feature some really fun and really awful mini-games. Ah, she's holding up cats. Guilty Gear Dust Strikers guilts us into a three out of five. Now, Guilty Gear Dust Strikers isn't a good game per se, but it isn't precisely a bad game either. You should consider maybe, I'm just going out on a limb right Ooh. here, renting it. Maybe somewhere like Gameplay.com. Gamefly has thousands of games you can rent or buy so you can save your money for other things like a new kidney or perhaps a qualified defense attorney. Mm -hmm. After the break, Legend of Heroes 2. And later on X-Play, Cleopatra gets sassy. I'm Layla Cayley, and this is The Feed. Sony BMG has agreed to stop distributing CDs embedded with digital rights management software as part of a settlement that will cost the music giant $1.5 million. A second Halo 3 making of documentary is now viewable online. The doc focuses on the redesigned brute characters. According to sources, Nintendo has bumped the US release date for the mini-game compilation We Play until next February. The BBC recently announced that they will be making a few of their more popular shows, including Doctor Who, Red Dwarf and Little Britain, available for download on the Zurus network. And finally, the Mac vs PC ad starring Justin Long and John Hodgman have won the Best Male Performance Award from Advertising Age magazine. Well, that's all for now. Visit us on the web at g4tv.com slash the feed. It's all the news you need to know. I'm Layla Cayley, and you've just been fed. Aqua de Joe. Giorgio Armani. And Macy's.
Attention, all passengers, unaccompanied minors is a fun-filled adventure for the whole family. The perfect holiday laugh fest. Ho, ho, ho. Hysterical and heartwarming. Could this night get any better? Unaccompanied minors, rated PG. Now playing. From here to here, there's just one step. Take the leap with your cell phone and Zed Chat. Your soulmate is closer than you think. Find your match within your local area. We'll send you four matching contacts to start chatting right away. Just text chat to 46933 and start meeting people near you. Go to create message, text chat, and send it now to 46933 or go Zed. Try it now and the first week is free. I got nothing. Don't worry about it. Cindy, I'm home. Dad! Warning, the makers of Tag Wildcard remind you that if you mess with the King's Queens, you better watch your ace, Jack. Tag Wildcard. Um. Consider yourself warned. Beep, beep. Yo, son, what you got going on over there? Just getting a little rest. Oh, because I'm headed out, okay? I got some game to play, hit the hardwood, show off my skills for the ladies. Right now? Even after the kid just took me out for a five-mile run. No problem, we got Nike Air. Wait, wait, like five whole miles at once? That's how it works. That's messed up. No, that's running. No, that's torture. Torture is fighting off elbows to grab a board and throwing yourself after loose balls on the floor. That's basketball. My point exactly. Yeah, I don't get it. New Nike Air. Get us a Foot Locker. Join the Rentway family. Your satisfaction is my personal guarantee. We are family. On your way. You don't have to change what you're about to change your future. Check out my friend Kendall. She's got an amazing career where she gets to use her people skills and her energetic personality. She never thought she could be this happy. How'd she get there? DeVry University. Kendall logged on to DeVryBiz9.com and received this free career guide. Then she saw the things she loved to do could be put toward a cool career. She earned her bachelor's degree in business administration and it only took three years. Plus, DeVry's classes are small and taught by real world professionals. So Kendall learned what it takes to get ahead in the business world. And because DeVry is accredited like the top state universities, she got respect from the people who matter most of all, the ones hiring. If you're ready to be happy and live large like Kendall, then check out DeVry and change everything without changing yourself. Call or log on now to DeVryBiz9.com. But hurry, classes start soon. DeVry University. We'll criticize for food. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. Now, a lot of people use the words myth and legend interchangeably. They're wrong. A myth actually refers to a story that documents the origin of a natural phenomenon or a group of people. Now, the word legend refers to the time I scored three million on Geometry Awards while consuming seven consecutive cans of Pringles. Let's see Lance Armstrong pull that off. Oh, it also refers to our next game, The Legend of Heroes 2. Could there be a more generic title than Legend of Heroes? I mean, why not just name your game Tale of Adventure or Story of the Good Guys Beating the Bad Guys or Video Game that you play on your console? Yes, less than nine months since the release of the last installment, Legend of Heroes 2 Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch has hit the PSP. The RPG is actually a re-release of a PC title from 1994, and boy, does it ever show its age. The game is completely devoid of voice acting. The graphics look like they stepped right out of a Super Nintendo, and it barely even features sound effects. God, this game is cheap. You start off as Jurio, a young man who... Wait, is that a man? Okay, yeah, I think so. Jurio and his pal Chris set out on a pilgrimage to visit five shrines and defend the world from a mysterious evil witch. Fortunately, your grandpa gives you a magic staff and a pet before you go. As long as you feed him, he'll help you out in battle. And when you're not in battle, he'll follow you around, emitting pink floating hearts wherever he goes. Um, is it my imagination or does my bunny want to have sex with me? On the plus side, the game features a special director's commentary track. So, uh, so this green uh, poople that you're seeing here right now, uh, it was actually played by an actress 
Um, do you remember Dolores uh, Fergenberg? Fergenberg? Dolores Dolores Feigelberg. Feigelberg. You know, I ran into her the other day. Oh, you did? Yeah, at Olive Garden. Oh, well, I, I love Olive Garden. She, well, she was actually cleaning up the floors. I mean, it mm. looks like she had fallen on hard times. Yeah, it's such a shame because the last time I heard, everything was looking up for her. Uh, she was pregnant. Not anymore. Oh. Um, oh, hey, remember this scene? This is with the warthogs. Oh my God, this is great. I <laughs> um, love this part. Oh. As an extra special bonus, the director's commentary track has its own director's commentary track. Oh, uh, do you remember this part of the commentary? Shot, right? Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. was the first day. Mm. That, oh, this was actually the first day. Okay, we just made that up. On the very short list of positives, this game features a beautiful soundtrack. The orchestrated score is far superior to anything you'll find in most video games or most Coldplay albums. On the other hand, if we're talking about the game's soundtrack, you know that we're digging deep for positives. Chief among the game's offenses are frequent repetitive battles with stupid looking monsters. Look out, a poison squirrel! I mean, honestly, how many pooples do I need to fight before I get to a cool looking bad guy? No matter how desperate you are for a role playing game to play on your PSP, trust us, you deserve better. It may say win on the screen, but trust us, nobody wins when you buy this game. Legend of Heroes 2 gets two pooples out of five. Well, you know, I never actually finished the game. Oh, me neither. No. Oh, it's, you did? Okay. terrible. Nobody, okay. nobody should finish. Why do game developers think we're stupid enough to buy games from 1994? How stupid do you think we are? You think we're still living in 1994, still watching ER and getting excited about a Clinton running for president? No. It's not like we're spending all our time talking about Jennifer Aniston. Okay, I see the irony now. Okay, so life may be precisely like it was in 1994, but the graphics are much better. And I can legally buy beer now. Yo, Jeff Skillin and Ken Lay, we're about to spend a lot of quality time together. So you better bring the games that Daddy likes. Hey, Muggin' Ass, you owe me two packs and some quality time! <laughs> oh, The Sims. In here, this'll be the only time you can take a shower without getting attacked. Super Mario Sunshine, cause you ain't seeing the sunshine anytime soon. Unless by sunshine, you mean my meat microphone. <laughs> You're gonna wanna bring a PSP along with you too. Hell, <laughs> it ain't got any good games for it, but it turns into a shiv right easy. What are you playing? Oh! Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'll see you real soon, Skillin and Lay. We're gonna make one big happy family. <laughs> I don't wanna die in here. <laughs> In a moment, rise and fall, civilizations at war. Let us stand and fight. X-Play is brought to you by The Block, coming January 15th, only on G4. Happy peanut soul over chocolate-covered mountaintops and waterfalls of caramel. Prancing nougat in the meadow sings a song of satisfaction to the world. Hold on, let me wipe the lens. This is Project 8. Here we go. Life is a blast when you know what you're doing. Best to know what you're doing for your life get ruined. Life is a thrill when your skill is developed. If you ain't got a skill, no. This is skateboarding. Tony Hawk's Project 8. Rated T for teen. Rated E for everyone. Call 
when you take 12 snowboarding animals and force them to work in the same hotel. <laughs> Introducing The Block, coming January 15th, only on G4. They can't get enough cricket 2004. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to x -Play. History is cool. It's because back in the olden days, people could get away with all sorts of stuff we could never do today, like eat people's hearts and vote for James K. Polk. There's no rush quite like reliving the adventures of historical characters. Actually, it's a little like Oxycontin with undertones of winning a grade school spelling bee. Anyway, here's a review of Rise and Fall, Civilizations at War. Your father, King Philip, has been slain. And General Memnon now advances, vowing to destroy this city. You must leave at once! Okay, two things. First off, I think Alexander knows his dad's name. Your father, King Philip, has been slain. Second, why is his reaction to hearing the news of his father's death to dust off his skirt? Men of Greece, let us stand and fight. That's better. Rise and Fall, Civilizations at War is a traditional real-time strategy game with a twist. At any time during battle, you can enter Hero Command mode and control your army's leader directly. The two main scenarios have you playing as either Alexander of Greece or Cleopatra of Egypt. We will defend this city! Directly controlling one of them gives you a huge advantage in battle. They seem to take almost no damage from the enemy, and they can kill hundreds of characters without breaking a sweat. <laughs> So how do the game makers keep you from simply slicing and dicing your way through each level as a hero? Your hero is badly wounded. Simple. The game saddles you with a stamina meter. Once you run out, you have to wander around the battlefield in order to find jugs that somehow magically replenish it. That's pretty abstract. When was the last time you gained energy by breaking stuff? Maybe those jugs are filled with Red Bull and vodka. Also, they should probably have finessed some of the physics in the game. Should my arrows really be flinging these soldiers 15 feet into the air? It's like an army of Cirque du Soleil performers. Cirque du Soleil proudly presents Le Grand Mer. A lot of the elements are based on historical situations, but it seems they took a lot of liberty with certain events. Let the spectacle begin! We aren't history professors here at x -Play, but we're pretty sure Alexander never slaughtered hundreds of Persians in a Colosseum deathmatch to win his freedom. It's true! He's the son of Zeus! Okay, actually, I was lying. 70% of x -Play employees are history professors. If you obtain enough experience, or as the game calls it, glory, your character will level up. Not enough glory. Not enough glory. Apparently, we aren't ready for the next level. Not enough glory. Not enough glory. Not all right enough. already. Let's see how Alexander's doing. Man, how did he do that? Also, the game's artificial intelligence is seriously lacking. Hey guys, I'm firing at you here. You could at least duck. Hmm, maybe they're tired from all that jumping into the air. If this game didn't feature the gimmick of letting you directly control your leader, it would probably wind up rolling a one. Fortunately for this game, we liked the gimmick. All hail Alexander, the true king of Greece. Rise and fall, Civilizations at War gets a two out of five. Now, as Morgan said during the review, 70% of the X-Play staff are history professors. And that's not even counting our brand new 10-person history of science department. I'm tenure track at Rutgers. I rarely mention it because, you know, it's Rutgers. And I'm an associate lecturer at the University of North Hollywood School of Classical History and VCR Repair. I accidentally obtained my PhD while trying to buy Xanax over the internet. So our message to you kids is don't do drugs. It can lead to dead-end academic positions in non-lucrative humanities fields. Not philology. Philology, that's a cash cow. <laughs>
These self-indulgent liberal arts major base jokes are a classic sign that this isn't Room Raiders, but is, in fact, X-Play. Hey Morgan, which volume of Robert Carroll's LBJ biography is your favorite? Uh, number three, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Road to glory.